excellent shielding. We can hardly believe how many Easter eggs there are in DC League of Super Pets. From Disney to Marvel to old DC references, this movie is chock full of Easter eggs to find. Let's see how many of these you spotted. Number 1. Garfield Garfield the cat shows up as an unusual love interest in this film. A Garfield stuffed animal is suction cupped to this car's windshield, and Merton the turtle shoots her shot, presumably thinking that he's a real cat. What's happening, handsome? Number 2. Inside Out There may have been a sneaky Inside Out reference where you'd least expect it. When PB the pot-bellied pig busts in on this man in the bathroom, he looks a lot like Riley's dad from Inside Out. Who knew Riley was Superman's neighbor the whole time? Number 3. Roz. Merton the Turtle has some serious Roz from Monsters, Inc. energy. Not only do these two green ladies' glasses very closely match, but their voices and super slow demeanors are dead ringers for each other. Don't let it happen again. Number 4. Tails. This little kitten with big power may have reminded you of a certain famous video game sidekick. A little orange cat whose tail becomes a rocket launcher made us think of the little orange fox who's well known for being Sonic the Hedgehog's sidekick. While Tails may not shoot out of his tail, his tails are pretty powerful, and he does often have a bazooka at his disposal. Number 5. Force Lightning As surprised as we are to be saying this, Chip looks like he'd fit in just as well in the Star Wars universe as he does in the world of DC. He's using what looks to be Force Lightning. <laughs> Whoops! The Force is strong with this little guy, and it actually comes full circle. He's voiced by Diego Luna, who is, of course, Cassian Andor in the Star Wars universe. Number 6. Ice Age Chip looks just like Scrat from Ice Age when he gets frozen in ice. Come to think of it, they have a lot in common, and we love them for it. Who doesn't love a squirrel who acts especially squirrely? Number 7. Lulu and the Evil Queen Lex Luthor's pet guinea pig Lulu may be small, but she's ready to join the ranks of favorite animated villains. We see a lot of similarities between her and another famous female bad guy, er, bad lady. Lulu's collar and kryptonite necklace look a lot like the Evil Queen's getup from Snow White, and the guinea pig villain's purple eyes are reminiscent of the Evil Queen's signature color. Number 8. Tail Huggers Speaking of tails, the Super Pets come from an animal shelter called Tail Huggers. DC fans know that this is a play on Face Huggers from Superman. Number 9. Taxman Did you spot the storefront next to the shelter that said Taxman? This is probably a reference to a comic in Superman number 148 called Superman Owes a Billion Dollars. This comic is all about Superman versus the IRS, aka the Taxman. Number 10. Mad Yak Cafe after adopting a new family member from Tail Huggers, a Metropolis resident may head to the Mad Yak Cafe for a quick pick-me-up. The Mad Yak Cafe can be spotted in the background of DC Super Pets, and this is far from this eatery's first appearance in the DC Universe. Number 11. The Great British Bake Off Talk about must-watch television, even Superman loves The Great British Bake Off. Before Superman ditches his trusty dog sidekick for a date with Lois Lane, he and Crypto have an enviable plan to watch The Great British Bake Off together. Pretty dressed up for The British Bake Off, but you know what, it makes sense. This is the season finale. We'll watch with you, Crypto. Number 12. Lucky Penguin A storefront called Lucky Penguin is right next door to the animal shelter. We all know that when it comes to DC, one cannot simply mention penguins without turning a few heads. The Penguin is one of Batman's most notorious foes. While Lucky Penguin may sound like a cute place at first glance, when it's in Metropolis, we're not entering a place like that without Bruce Wayne himself by our side. Number 13. Gingold Soda Did you notice that billboard advertising Gingold Soda? Gingold Soda probably sounds familiar to folks who play the Injustice mobile game. It's a piece of gear in the game that's all about DC superheroes and villains. Number 14. Puss in Boots This adorable little orange kitten who's a lot tougher than they look reminds us of another cat, Puss in Boots from Shrek. Who doesn't remember those puppy dog eyes, er, kitty cat eyes, on Puss in Boots? He only gave this look before folks realized that he was actually a tough fighter. And this member of the League of Super Pets seems to have a similar strategy. They also look like they could definitely be twins, or at least from the same litter of kittens. Number 15. The Daily Planet We can see what looks like the Daily Planet headquarters, and there are even multiple newspapers from DC's famous newspaper outlet peppered throughout the film. Number 16. Kent Farmhouse If you look near his bed, you can see that Superman is still Clarky from the farm. He has a painting of the Kent Farmhouse near his bed. 
No matter how super he gets, he never forgets his humble beginnings. Number 17, Red Pickup Truck. If you look just past Superman in this scene, you'll spot a little red pickup truck on his shelf. Smallville fans know that this isn't just any decoration. It's a little replica of the Kent family's truck. Number 18, Bruce Wayne menswear. There's a Bruce Wayne menswear store in the background if you look closely. We don't blame Batman for selling out and starting his own menswear line. It's called having an entrepreneurial spirit. Number 19, Crypto's glasses. In a super cute self-referential moment, Crypto wears glasses to go incognito just like his superhuman buddy. When Crypto is pretending to be just like every other dog, he sports a pair of glasses that match Clark Kent's famous regular guy disguise. Number 20, FedEx. In case you're wondering how residents of Metropolis get their mail, they use FedEx just like the rest of us. When Crypto has a regular dog moment, he meets an actual regular dog. Who is he working for? General Zod, the Legion of Doom? FedEx. And just like all regular dogs, this guy had plenty of run-ins with the FedEx delivery person. Number 21, Sundollar. DC's famous Sundollar coffee joint can be spotted. Sundollar's name is a twist on Starbucks. Number 22, Meteor Nights. A billboard reads Meteor Nights. This is likely a reference to that famous meteor shower in Smallville. Number 23, Metropolis. Right next to it, a billboard for Metropolis references Superman's Metropolis, a famous DC comic book. This was originally inspired by the 1927 sci-fi film Metropolis. And of course, this was how the city that Superman saves was named. Number 24, Bad Blood. Crypto must be a Swifty because he's listening to Bad Blood by Taylor Swift. Bad owner! When Superman ditches his dog buddy for a date, Crypto is reasonably irritated. And like so many of us do when we're feeling strong emotions, we consult the queen of expressing all her feelings through song. We're glad there's no bad blood between Superman and his super dog anymore, though. Number 25, Al's Diner. The pets walk in front of Al's Diner. DC fans know Al's Diner and Al himself from the Lobo comics. Number 26, Dante. Speaking of businesses named after bad guys, among the billboards you can see the name Dante in lights. This is surely referencing Dante from the world of Green Arrow. Dante is in charge of the Ninth Circle. He's up to no good, and for what it's worth, he's really scary looking. Number 27, Crypto the Superdog. Before his new movie, Crypto actually had his own TV show called Crypto the Superdog. It ran from 2005 to 2006, and while the animation was very different, their character design was nearly identical. It's good to have you back, Crypto. Number 28, Iron Man. Superman says, You should call me Iron Man. <laughs> no. Who knew DC superheroes watched Marvel movies? Number 29, Pandor. To continue the inspection of Clark Kent's collectibles, did you notice that object next to the truck? That's Candor, just as it looked after Brainiac shrunk it down. So, be honest, how many of those did you catch? What references did you notice that we didn't list? We want to hear all about it in the comments. And if you love videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe to The Things Animated for more about your animated favorites.